Please. Hub Zone. That's the other certification that we do. That has nothing to do with the identity of the owners. It's where the business is located. And Hub Zone areas are um, high unemployment or low income areas. Um, there used to be a lot more Hub Zone areas, uh, but right now they're getting. Where are they? I mean, how do we figure out? Because it's on our website, sba.gov. <laughs> Slash hub zone. Right, it's really easy. Yeah, you type yeah, in the zip code. You can bring up. It brings up a map and it tells you specifically if you're in a hub zone. Or it if changes. You, want. you put in your address and it'll yeah, tell you your whether you're in a hub zone. Tell you if you're there. It feels like it. But. Uh, certain parts of, and the big part is Native American <laughs> lands are hub zones. They're grandfather day. Forever, mm -hmm. and so the Port of Tacoma area is. Big, big giant hub zone. This far. <laughs> 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 I spit from my place. <laughs> or you could do like I did and move to sleep, live in a hub zone area we, we, to keep your business viable. God, so <laughs> and, and that's what we're trying to do is encourage small businesses to move. Yeah. Yes. And to develops is what I do. Yeah. And not discriminate against the hiring of individuals, but have incentives for those who either live in a hub zone are willing to move into one so that our percentage of employees, I mean, this is strategy. This is what we're trying to get out to the small businesses, this is that this can be done if you're willing to really sit and go, what is the criteria to do what we need to do? And then what adjustments do we need to make? I used to live in Tilligum, for God's sake. Where? You tell people Tilligum. that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tilligum. It's up in Lakewood. Boy, I know it's Tilligum. right by where, right outside of Post, right outside of Camp Murray, down this little strip that's got... Pawn shops. Pawn shops, <laughs> shoe shine place, nail place. Yeah. It's got a KFC, and they finally modernized the McDonald's. I lived there from 2005 until 2009, and then when I moved, I moved into another hub zone because of the work I did with the federal government. I was like, this will be advantageous. So do I want to live like nobody else so I can live like nobody else for a minute, or am I going to be like, you know, oh, it's too hard. I'm not trying to... Yes. I'm very passionate about this <laughs> because, you know, I just had a, a dream, and... I was like, oh, this is easy. It's only $20 for a business license. Didn't know what I was getting myself into. I'll be perfectly honest about it. But, you know, a lot of this stuff, some of us that have been at this for a while have had to figure a lot of things out on our own. And it's like, okay, we've got some knowledge. We kind of know the people who have some of this insight. Let's offer it to you. So I'm saying for a hub zone, if you've got to live in a hub zone, do it. Or if your business needs to be in a hub zone, if that's where your target is, if if that's what you're passionate about and you really want to grow your business, make the sacrifice for a while. Because you may have to do it for a few years, build up your revenue, and then you know, you can move on, you can take your customers. You can go to Mercer yeah. Island. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what it comes down to. <laughs> So you've discovered that living in a hub zone has actually benefited your business. It has benefited my business a lot. Has it? Because okay. the okay. government okay. looks at set asides. How about yeah. if you have a, your business, your your building is located in a hub zone? Is that the hub zone? It's the employees. It's, it's employees both. Employees and it's also um, the owner needs to be in one. Uh, well, I live in one right now, but it's a lot nicer than two. Well, it basically, the business has to be located in a hub zone, nah, the principal business much. location, and 35% of the employees need to live in any hub zone. So, like, Lewis County is a hub zone, and Grace Harbor County is a hub zone. Uh, certain areas of Bellingham, certain areas of Everett, Tacoma, All Seattle. Is, most of Puyallup mm -hmm. is because it's Indian reservation. Right. That's, That's you know, right. muckle shoot. Uh, uh, muckle shoot. Right yeah. Uh, Tim, uh, the Tacoma. William Factory incubator down in Tacoma that Tim Street runs is in a hub zone. And all those people who have their businesses there, if they're the, you know, if they meet the 35% requirement, they're, they're hubs, they could be certified hub zone firms. And some agencies, the Forest Service was doing nothing but hub zone for a long time. Uh, set-asides, 
because uh, they were helping USDA, which is their parent organization, meet their goal. So um, we also have a woman-owned small business program that is not really through SBA, but um, if you want to learn about that, it, there's a lot about it on our website. It's finally recognizing that women are under, underrepresented in 300 industries. Yeah, just the map. Yeah, there's the map. Okay, it's pretty, it's pretty easy. Yeah, it yeah. does it by county, it does it by state. You can zoom in and out, you can get down to the yeah. street. I see that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right down the street, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Yeah. And then click yeah. on HUB Zone Maps. That little blue spot. Yeah. yeah. So I went to sba.gov and then I just typed in the search engine HUB Zone Maps. There, it used to be, um, it's based on census numbers and um, labor statistics and, and all this sort of thing. And there, a, a much bigger part of the state was hub zone five years ago. And for some reason with the census, um, things changed and a lot of the hub zones fell off. So if you can be a hub zone firm, you're, there's a lot less competition now because there's just a much smaller group of hub zone firms who are competing for these set-aside hub zone contracts. So. Like Dana says, it, if it it could really be beneficial. Okay, am I? Do you want me to got a hook for me or? No. Well, actually, I wanted to, unless there was something else that you had, because what we we had a technical difficulty. We wanted to uh, Julie to actually share her PowerPoint. What I'm going to do is have her email us a PowerPoint, and I'll shoot yeah. it to everyone who attended tonight. There's not really a ton on it, but you're welcome to have it. I have a hard copy. Yeah. yeah. And I did want to mention one more thing. We're coming up with our small business uh, award season uh, where you can be nominated for small business person of the year. Um, uh, we've changed our, last year we had so many great categories and now they've changed it. But if you know of somebody or you want to nominate yourself for small business person of the year, <laughs> we'd love you to. <laughs> 